At Deep Trekker, we have a range of ROVs, starting with our most portable eyes underwater, moving all the way up to our most powerful and capable ROVs. Our product range starts with our DTG3 ROV, which we've been making since 2010 and is our most portable and quickly to deploy eyes underwater ROV. We then released our Revolution ROV, which is our largest and most capable ROV that has a 260 degree rotating head and has the largest platform for tools and sensors, as well as highest payload. Our six thruster units are a great option because they offer more power and stability, including our new Photon ROV, which was made to be the similar size and weight as the DTG3, but with the capabilities of our larger six thruster units. Due to their size, they can only accommodate one or two sensors on them at a time. So if you're looking for a platform for growth, I would probably recommend our Pivot ROV, which can accommodate most of the same sensors as the Revolution, but has a lower payload and price. The other benefit of our six thruster options is that they all have swappable batteries for extended dive times, but if you wanted to operate with direct power, they're all able to accommodate direct power setups as well. One of the defining features of Deep Trekker ROVs is the fact that we have a rotating camera head on all of our units. So each unit that we have has the availability to look all the way above it and all the way below it, as well as everything in between. So another key feature of the Pivot and Revolution ROV is that their depth rating goes all the way down to 305 meters deep. So ROVs are very dependent on their environment. So some of the questions that we ask to determine which ROV will be best for your application is what is the current that the ROV will have to battle? What kind of payload does the ROV need to carry? And how deep does the ROV need to go? The Deep Tricker camera is great for marine sciences. You're going to get great resolution on your pictures and videos when you're underwater but it also has software in the back end that helps improve the camera, such as our auto white balance or our turbidity filter that helps bring forth more details, even when visibility isn't great. The Deep Tricker camera has an auto snapshot feature built into it, which is often used for 3D modeling. And so if you are looking to take the pictures needed to process 3D models, you can toggle it on in our menu setting and it will automatically take photos at whatever rate you've set it to. You can then take those pictures and upload them into 3D modeling software to create 3D models of whatever feature you're looking at underwater. Sonars are one of the most important features that we can add to an ROV, specifically when you're working in low visibility waters. There's two common situations where we would use sonar. High frequency sonars are great for looking at things in fine detail. They'll give you the highest resolution picture at a close range to whatever you're looking at. The other situation where we commonly use sonars is when you have low visibility. And so you can use a lower frequency sonar with longer distance or longer range to it to identify targets. So Deep Trekker samplers are an awesome add-on for marine science customers. We offer a range of different water samplers in terms of size, all the way from 100 milliliters to 2.5 liters. We also have an excellent sediment sampler uh, that's sealed and so you can take 500 cc's of sediment as well. A common application for marine science customers is taking water quality analysis data. And so Deep Trekker offers a multi-parameter SON that can be attached to the ROV and it can accommodate up to four sensors at a time. So whether that's turbidity, temperature conductivity, chlorophyll A, uh, or a rugged dissolved oxygen sensor, those can all be added to the ROV and collect data as you're swimming. So Deep Trekker ROVs come with a laser scaler built into their camera heads. Uh, it's a really wonderful tool for marine biologists or different kind of research where you're looking to size or size reference different objects. Sometimes you can be underwater and see something, and if you don't have a reference point for how big something is, it can either appear gigantic or very, very tiny. Um, and so it's just something to help with the accuracy of the data that you get from our camera. So the grabber arm on a Deep Trekker ROV is a really wonderful attachment. Um, it's a very dynamic attachment. And with the grabber arm, the claws can be removed. So depending on what you need to do, we have different kind of claw attachments if you're looking to pick something up underwater. Another common application is sensor retrieval or salvage missions. And so uh, one of the attachments that's commonly used is a 5,000 pound rated carabiner for doing sensor retrievals or object retrievals underwater. So location mapping is a great feature for marine science customers because most of our customers are looking to collect data. Uh, an extra layer to that is knowing exactly where that data is being taken from. Mission Planner is a really great feature that allows you to plot points of interest ahead of time and then upload that mission into the ROV. 
or if you're piloting and you are finding points of interest and you drop those locations, it will record that as a mission and then you're able to analyze that data afterwards. For GPS positioning underwater for marine sciences, it's a really great tool. And there's two ways that we offer this feature on the ROVs, depending on the environment that you're operating in. The first combination I'll talk about is DVL with a USB-L sensor. So the DVL is a small add-on that goes on the bottom of the ROV, letting the ROV know if it's drifted at all, side to side, forward or backwards, while battling current. In combination with the DVL sensor, you have a USB-L sensor, which has a topside beacon that's deployed from either a boat or from a dock, wherever you're operating from, and the other sensor goes on the ROV. These two sensors will speak to each other with acoustic pings and triangulate to find out where the ROV is underwater. Using these two sensors will give you access to Mission Planner on our controller, where you can map the ROV on Google Maps. So the other option that we have for GPS underwater is using a DVL sensor and in combination with Sensor Pod Plus, which is integrated into the ROV and it gives you all the telemetry. So if the ROV has moved at all, using those two sensors will give you a dead reckoning way of positioning. So it maps the ROV from an initial point of deployment. This is really helpful for people that are in situations where USB-L isn't available, uh, specifically shallow water applications. This still gives you access to our Mission Planner feature on our ROVs. Both of these are great settings and we would speak with you about your application, about which one works best. Our Bridgebox feature allows customers to connect to office setups, computer setups. Uh, it allows you to operate remotely if you want to use a game controller or different kinds of controls such as a keyboard to operate your ROV, you're able to do so. Bridgebox is a great add-on if you find that you have lots of people huddling over your screen. This allows you to fully operate from a larger platform. 